Hello everybody, this is Skyflight44, aka Zek44, and today we're going to be playing more Slay the Spire. Now, I've already kind of figured out what route I'm going to go about taking. I'm going to be going down this route specifically. I want as many, I always go after elite, uh, elite minions, or elite enemies as uh, frequently as I can. So, I'm just gonna go down this way. Though, how many, how many times am I gonna be able to get a rest? Just twice, yeah, this is gonna be the same whether or not I go down that way or this way. So we're gonna start over here. Okay, so looter and mugger. Now both of these guys can suck a dick. Let's. I'm gonna defend here just because that's a lot of damage immediately, and I don't really want that. They're gonna attack twice, and after that, they're. Well, let's just say they're going to attack twice. They're going to steal a bunch of, uh... They're going to steal a bunch of gold from us. And they're going to attempt to go away. However, Whirlwind right here just wins me the game. So, that's cool. Love that card. Ooh, this is nice. So, Carnage is ethereal. Which means... This if it's still in our hand, this is going to be exhausted. Which means if we get it, we have to use it. But Armament gains us block and upgrades a card in our hand. But if we actually upgrade this, it upgrades every card in our hand for the rest of combat. Or we can get Anger. I'm going to go Armaments. Okay, so anytime we attack three times, one of these guys will fall down and be so much easier to deal with. Uh, I am going to use offerings. I'm going to shrug it off. And then I'm going to use whirlwind. Yeah, now each of these guys are just on the ground doing nothing. They are worthless. They are stunned. And now they also don't gain the benefit of, you know, that flying buff, which uh, makes it so that they take less damage. Oh my god, I have armaments and all of this. This is going to be ridiculous. Okay, so... We can get Whirlwind back to top of deck. And I also gonna be drawing that. Cool. That's game. Oh. That's cool. Carnage plus and another anger. I'm gonna go with the anger. Hey, this isn't so bad whatsoever let's inflame i hate the fact that i drew into this right now next turn that would have been really deadly Okay, so I did get Headbutt and Offering, so let's Headbutt you, put this back on top of our deck, Offerings, and then Whirlwind, killing them all. Okay, so we can get another Shrug It Off or we can get War Cry. Let's go with Shrug It Off. 
we can, uh, you know, block and draw cards. Okay, I'm at least going to play this one defensively. Uh, malleable upon receiving attack damage, gain three block. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, we could offerings, but I don't. I already feel like I'm gonna be taking enough damage. Okay, so. Iron waves, good. Yeah, this thing definitely malleable. Really not my friend right now. We can just get this back to top of deck, and that's gonna be it. Enfeebling spores. Okay, so we deal twenty-five percent less damage. That sucks. So, how is this going to work? Okay, let's use Duplication Potion Offerings. And then we're going to use Whirlwind. Yeah, okay, yeah, that uh, didn't work the way I wanted it to. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to be taking a bunch of uh, damage. Probably should have just duplicated, shrug it off. Well, we killed it. Okay, so... Metallicize sounds pretty good, but we could just go Anger Plus. Yeah, let's go metallicize. That'll make us that we at least gain block. Always getting that card when I don't want it. Well, then again, because of Runic Pyramid, I'm going to have it anyway. Then Whirlwind is going to at least put you down to size. Okay, so Hex, whenever you play a non-attack card, shuffle one days into your drop pile. That's cool. I have to shrug it off. Good thing dazes go away. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't be doing too well. Uh, mm. Okay, so we can inflame. Or armament. The fact that I can't kill him off during this turn is what's getting to me. Okay, we have to do that. We can defend. And we'll take 15. 
Then we can get back. We can get back whirlwind. So this guy is going to go back up to flying, and he's also going to be increasing his attack pretty soon, I bet. But, uh, oh yes, right, I had one more, I had one more energy, because I killed something. Should have did something there. Oh, well, my fault. Okay, so Whirlwind is still pretty cool. I kind of going away from what I originally wanted. Thinking a thunderclap might be so bad. Okay, if we actually get this up, it'll be seven damage and one vulnerable. Uh, let's skip this. Unfortunately, I've taken too many hits. I'm not going to be able to deal with... I'm not going to be able to deal with a elite right now. You walk by an eerie statue holding several masks. Something behind you softly whispers, stop. You swerve around to face a statue, which is now facing you. On closer inspection, it's not a statue, but a statuesque, gaunt man. Is he even breathing? Face, let me touch. Maybe trade. Okay, uh, let's see. We got Face of the Cleric. At the end of combat, raise your max HP by one. That is really good. For me? For me? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Hmm. You see one of his arms flicker and your face is in his hand. Your face has been swapped. Nice face, nice face. Hey. Wow, that is really good. Um, let's see. Let's get this other anger into an anger plus. Magic flower healing is 50% more effective during combat. I don't really think I have healing outside of, you know, the end of combat. Okay. Every three turns, gain one energy. Upon pickup, raise your max HP by seven. Heal all of your HP. I might just do that. Outside of that, pretty sure that's probably the best. Enlightenment also sounds pretty good. Ah. Enlightenment. Reduce the cost of all cards in your hand to one this combat if you upgrade it. If I do that, I'm not going to be able to get anything. Yeah. The thing is, enlightenment, I don't have too many things that are worth too much. Let's just go with the uh, waffle. Okay, this shouldn't be too difficult of a fight. Especially with me being at full HP now. I'm gonna go after you. Thing is, pretty soon the Mystic's gonna start healing the Centurion. We can offering. 
And then use Whirlwind. Whirlwind. For 40 damage across the board. It's only 8 more damage, that's fine. So we can... Hmm. I'm trying to think what's the best way out of here. Ah, an armaments makes everything good. Minimizing how much damage I actually take at this point in time is probably the best option. Ah, I do have the anger, which means I can just deal with everything. Ooh, and then headbutt. I can get me into another anger. Point in time, I can probably just defend. Because of that, no, I'm not going to take any more damage. Okay. Do I have lethal? I do believe I do. Get the anger and one last strike kills you off. Drink potion, definitely gonna like that. Burning Pact, exhaust one card, draw three cards. I think shrug it off plus is just gonna be the better option. I definitely have plenty of those at this point in time. Yeah, that'll be good. Hey, we can shrug it off. Ooh, definitely an flame. Then shrug it off again. Things I can anger, anger, offerings, whirlwind probably should uh Yeah, at this point this sh Damn, because of the freaking strength decrease. Uh, that's frustrating. Because of the strength decrease, I wasn't able to kill it off with Whirlwind Plus. And after that, we can just get in anger to make sure that to make sure that we can actually kill it off next time. Hey, let's get flex. Keeping flex in our hand for whenever we really need it might just be useful or the best way of uh, using it.
You're not going to be able to go through my defenses. Oh, that isn't so bad. Uh, let's see. We can... We can headbutt, and I'm definitely going to want to place back on top Iron Wave Plus. We'll defend, but we're not going to be able to do what I really want. Yeah, that hack sucks. Okay, we can use two iron waves. We got enough uh, defense now, enough lock. Pretty sure the best option after this would be... We're, we're going to want to get rid of the stupid freaking bird at this point in time. The sucky thing is I... Let's see if Warcry can, unfortunately, can't get us into what we want. We'll place a strike on top of our deck. Drag it off. I'm still gonna have to use Whirlwind, unfortunately. Because I can't let that thing actually do anything. And then I can defend, so I'm not going to take any damage. But what about using flex now I think about it? I would have won this time. But for that, let's actually use flex so we can uh, anger and kill it off. Okay, that's decent enough. Colorless potion. Uh, Rage plus. Whenever you play an attack this turn, gain five block. Hmm. That is nice. Any Thunderclap Plus. Yeah, I kind of like having that. It's Thunderclap Plus is where I, I actually start really kind of liking having that card. Uh... We're gonna go after the cultist. Cultist is easily the card that's gonna be more or the worst of the two. The chosen if the chosen's around, the chosen's around, but if the cultist is around Well just screw it. He's gonna get really powerful real quickly. The hex isn't bad. So I can inflame. I can also offerings as well this turn. So let's, yeah, let's start with that. We get offerings, which gets us into flex.
killing you off. Back. And unfortunately, that's a waste of block, but I needed something to attack with. Guess we're going to shrug it off. Okay, that's fine. That didn't really do much of anything. Okay. Anger. Yes. Not for that weekend. That we can stay be able to kill you off right now, I bet. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to do it, so let's just shrug it off. Oh, well. I bet the rest of what's in my deck's all freaking... Yeah. It dazed. Oh, well. That's it. I win. Uh, we probably don't need you. Okay, another anger plus. Smith. So many cards to go with. I think I'm going to go with Pummel Strike. Being able to draw two cards, pretty good. Okay, this boss shouldn't be too bad. Uh, Bash, so that we actually have quite a bit of uh, vulnerability. 16 damage, that was nothing. That really does suck. So, a pummel strike. Headbot placing pummel strike back on top. We'll drink for two strength. For you. Then we can defend. Yeah, we'll offerings this turn. Armaments. So many angers. We're gonna keep the iron waves in the hand. Yeah, the fact that he increases his strength kind of annoying. But it's not going to be much. I'm going to keep the Iron Wave still in my hand. We'll just strike. We'll defend. Why not? Oh yeah, that uh, that doesn't feel good. Can flex. Pretty good. Drag it off. Ooh, getting pummel strike. I'm gonna save pummel strike. 
Let's just go about using Whirlwind. Get that out of our hand. Not gonna take too much damage here. We can place... Anger Plus back on top of deck. Which we can actually just draw right now. Oh, look at that. Two of them. Best part about this anger strategy is just the fact that we can... When we... Especially with the, with the way we are... Ha uh, with the fact that we have a full hand already, we can just gain more angers, which when we draw cards, we can just go through the other cards that we have. Okay. Thunderclap. Armament. Uh, you're gonna have to shrug it off at least once. The nine wave. Only 76 hit points left. Like, thing, I'm not going to be able to actually do anything about it. Well, I can protect myself anyway. And champion is dead. So, let's see. Offering has been pretty good, but Juggernaut is nice. Considering how many defensive cards we have, whenever you gain block, deal 5 damage to a random enemy. And when it's upgrade, 7 damage to a random enemy. That is going to be lovely. So we're choosing that hands down. So, oh, Busted Crown, gain one... Uh, one more energy at the start of your turn. Future card rewards have two less cards to choose from. You can no longer rest at rest sites, or we can no longer see enemy intents. I have a good deck already. I don't really need uh, too many more options. And with that being said, I really shouldn't be going after enemies anymore. I have a bunch of money. Let's just take this nice and easy. For the moment, have a nice day, everybody.